morning, just leaving Perth Harbour and the Hakai Beach Institute. And we actually woke up to the sun. Pretty lucky. I know I kept you waiting. I screwed up my timing again. You told me the fears that were in your head. Sitting there cross legged on my bed. Don't you stay? Looking pretty calm out here, but we're really hoping that we'll get some good wind because we need the we need the wind. We don't have a lot of diesel right now. I see your face lying next to me, just on the edge of my dreams. So tired, I can't explain. I lost some precious. If we were to keep on our current heading. We would miss the Hawaiian Islands to the east, and the next stop would be Antarctica. Because we'd gone further north up to Fury and Hakai, we didn't have to round Cape Scott, and so we had a nice clear line straight down with the wind, no tides or waves to worry us. Cedar Cove was our first stop on the west coast of Vancouver Island. The guidebook says this entrance can be tricky when the swells up, but we entered on a pretty calm day. You can see here that it's quite rocky and narrow. In fact, they say there's rocks throughout the anchorage and you have to be really careful where you set your anchor, lest you wake up on top of a boulder. We had been replacing our halyards and somehow one of them had come untied when we were pulling it through. So now I have to go up in the harness and go up the mast so I can manually feed the halyard from the top down. It was about 2 in the afternoon when we left Sea Otter Cove and headed for North Cove where we could spend the night before we went to Winter Harbor to fill up our diesel tank. We were now down to only a couple of gallons in our starboard tank. Winter Harbor is now a sleepy little fishing retreat but it's full of old infrastructure from the days when it used to be an ice making facility for the cannery. There was boardwalks to explore while we waited for the fuel dock to open. Hi, my name's Pukerton. I like to puke on people. Badly for us, there is no wind out here. It truly is Pacific. Is that possible? Our poor Zales. Such a small place. Our next stop was Clash Kiss Basin which was described as having a narrow entrance with steep cliffs that opened into a magnificent bay with mountain views. We certainly weren't disappointed.
Hey, buddy. What's you eating? Got an urchin? Or do you have one of our crabs? On our way again off to the Bunsby's Islands, to follow us on our journey, either subscribe on our channel or look for our next video, part two of our journey down the west coast of Vancouver Island. Say bye, Finn!